Are you an entrepreneur in Minnesota and struggling to secure funding? I've got the answers. Whether you're a minority, a woman, a veteran, or someone from a low income background, there's a program designed specifically for you. The Emerging Entrepreneur Loan Program could be the game changer you've been waiting for, offering up to $150,000 to help your business grow. Ready to turn your Minnesota business dream into a reality? This video is your roadmap. Hey everyone, and welcome back uh, to the No Finance channel where I give you the insider scoop on business funding. Tired of generic business funding advice? I've got the insights on the ELP, short for the Minnesota Emerging Entrepreneurship Loan Program. If you're a business owner based in Minnesota and you're looking for startup or expansion capital, you won't want to miss this. If wondering if the ELP is right for you? Let's find out. So how do you qualify for the ELP? To be eligible, your business must be majority owned by one or more Minnesota residents who belong to one of the following groups. Minorities, women, veterans, low-income persons, or persons with disabilities. With years of experience in business funding, I've navigated the complexities of the ELP to provide you with actionable insights. Did you know that 82% of startups fail due to cash flow problems? Let's change that. Businesses located in low-income areas of Minnesota will be given a priority for loans. If you're based in these areas, you could be in a strong position to receive funding. Now let's talk about what the loan can actually be used for. The ELP covers a variety of startup and expansion costs, including machinery, equipment, inventory, working capital, construction, and site acquisition. Don't let confusing paperwork hold you back. I've broken down the application process into simple steps and we'll walk through them together. But keep in mind, refinancing existing debt isn't allowed in certain industries like liquor stores, tobacco shops, vape shops, and gambling operations are excluded. Ready to maximize your chances of securing a loan? Stay tuned as I share expert tips and strategies throughout this video. Now let's get into the numbers. What are the key requirements for submitting a uh, successful loan application? The loan amounts range from a minimum of $5,000 to a maximum of $150,000. For micro enterprises, businesses with fewer than five employees and less than two years of revenue, you can apply for up to 35,000 or up to 50,000 in low income areas. And you won't need matching funds if you meet these criteria. Did you know the Minnesota Emerging Entrepreneurship Loan Program has helped thousands of businesses in Minnesota get off the ground? Could yours be next? As for interest rates, they can't exceed the Wall Street Journal Prime rate plus 4%, which keeps things competitive. What are the interest rates and repayment terms for loans you've looked at recently? The only loan that can compare to the ELP is an SBA 7A. As a seasoned entrepreneur myself, I understand the challenges of securing funding and I've distilled the essential information into a clear, concise guide. So how do you actually apply for this loan? The process is simple. You'll need to connect with a certified ELP lender who will guide you through the application process. Once approved, deed with Minnesota will give the final sign-off and the funds will be released. How long does it typically take to receive a decision on uh, the loan application? I'll cover that in just a moment. Each lender may have its own application steps, but don't worry, I've conducted in-depth research on the Minnesota Emerging Entrepreneurship Loan Program to ensure you have the most up-to-date information available. Here are some common questions I get about this program. How can I increase my chances of getting approved for a loan? The key is to ensure your application meets the program's specific requirements. Can retail businesses apply? Yes, but only if they're micro enterprises with fewer than five employees and less than two years of revenue. Can real estate be financed? Yes, but only if it's owned and occupied by a qualifying business. The maximum amount of funds available from, uh, from this program is $150,000 per business, no matter how many lenders are involved. Is $150,000 enough to fuel your business growth needs? Ready to turn your Minnesota business dream into a reality? Don't wait. Reach out to one of those certified nonprofit lenders in your area and start your application today. Thank you for watching and don't miss out on this opportunity. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more expert insights. I've got more small business funding news and reports on the way. So I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thanks.